20 and verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the most high power shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon it. So what shall rain it upon him while he is eating? Ain't no getting away with this. There's no getting away with it. Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. What is this going into? It's going into the ICBM missiles, right? And it's talking about what? The wicked on this earth, Esau, Edom, and the rest of these nations. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the men who rule well. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. Of whom I learn from each and every day. Let's keep let's continue reading right here. And I got a little clip I got from a brother. And I'm gonna play it. And it's something that he forgot to mention. You can ready to see. Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall th strike him through. It is it is drawn and cometh out of the body. That's talking about the ICBM missiles. You know, them silos. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. And again, that's talking about them ICBMs. The end of certain places upon this earth, a.k.a. mainly Babylon, America. That's going to be the end all be all for this place. Never to be inhabited again, right? So here, let's go. We'll play this clip. Stay tuned. Here's the truth. Here's the realest of talk right now. We, all of us, we are about to witness something absolutely jaw-dropping. We are about to witness a battle in the sky. Real talk. There's about to be a regime change on this earth. Everything... That's in the Bible, in the book of Revelation. We can't even comprehend. It's going to be way, way, way more climactic than the best sci-fi movie ever. We are about to see two forces clash and one overpower the other. And the force that will overpower the other is seizing control of this earth. Real talk. It's the living God. And everything the Bible talks about, angels, real talk. Because for generations, this earth has had crooked and corrupt leadership. In the Bible, when it talks about the devil, it talks about Satan. <laughs> it's been that leadership for generations. And I'm telling I'm telling you. God is always on time, and those genocidal maniacs in power think they're going to get away with it, trying to start a world war between all the nations. See, one of the biggest deceptions is, is that there's just going to be a nuclear holocaust, and everyone's going to go to their bunkers. See, the living God lets evildoers plot and scheme and plan it out. And then right there, he gives, he gives the evil and the wicked on this earth the light at the end of the tunnel. And then you know what God does? Freaking collapses it on them. Saying that's the truth. And that's why I read that scripture. While he is eating, he's not going to be able to perform his enterprise. He ain't going to get away with it, right? All right, so, so what the dude was saying, yep, all that's going to happen. It was war in heaven. Yes, all these different things. You know, they do fight but be terrified. But guess, but guess what? There's one thing he didn't mention. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, what, what, what? Judges nations. You see? And he said, you know, and these people, or these, these higher ups, these wicked people that rule the earth, yes. But he also judges the entire nation. All right? And you can't never forget Esau, Edom, the whole damn family is wicked. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. It's just a simple fact that a lot of the, you know, and I'm not calling him. I, I don't know if he's an Israelite or an Edomite. I don't know. You know, he could be a, a whole different nation. 
because it's the seat of your father, right? But see, you got to mention everything. You got to eat the whole roll, as the scripture said. We got to eat it all and understand that it's not just a, a few wicked people, your Oppenheimers, your Gettys and Chicken Groovers and who, whoever the hell, uh, Red, Red Shields. No, it's not just them. It's all Edomites, all of them. Okay, each and every one of them. Matter of fact, they're going to have to serve a thousand years of hardcore bondage. You remember meditate uh, uh, terror day and night upon them, right? You see, and then they're going to have to dig their own damn pit and be burned up in it. And that's what's up. That's what he failed to mention. And that's what a whole lot. Even these, uh, you know, wacky tacky Christians. And if they're in that kind of, kind of spirit, you know, talking about, you know, this place is going to go and the, the higher ups and the wicked people. But who are they? It's a whole family of them. See, and again, that's what he forgot or neglected to mention. Isaiah 2 and verse 4. And he shall judge amongst the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. <clears throat> so lock you. I'm, I'm really tired. Anyway, just getting off the plantation. About, you know, I guess about 30, 45 minutes ago. I mean, this, this, this place sucks. All right, anyway, and their spears and the pruning hooks, nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So, hey, uh, those people over there, you know, in the state of Israel right now, what did it say? They shall not learn war anymore. They shall beat their swords and the plowshares, right? See, the head Amalek, the head tribe of the Edomites are over there right now. And each and every one of the Am each and every one of Amalek, which uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai shall have war with generation from generation. They go, they getting it too, because they're the head tribe to eat. They all getting it. The whole damn family. You see, the whole family of the Israelites. We we got it all. We still got foots upon our necks, right? You see, it's a salvation for us. That's what that's what uh, you know our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming for by way of who Yahweh. First Thessalonians five verse eleven. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another as ye do. And these scriptures should be edifying. The gospel of good news is that the rest of these nations are going to get towed up from the flow up. That's great news. And we're going to get salvation from the hard bondage which thou hast made to suffer, right? Verse 12, and I beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and, uh, and, what, and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in love for their works sake and be at peace amongst yourselves. Woo. Did you hear that right there? It said be at peace amongst yourself. Israel, man, we, we got a problem with tearing each other up, tearing each other down too damn much. All the time. Constantly. You know, hey, the scriptures did go into it and tell you, rebuke them that cause division. And the way we should be walking under Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we understand that. And if you're walking in that manner, hey, if it is what it is. But if this pricks you, it pricks you. Okay, let's read it one more time. Verse 13, and to esteem them very highly in love for, for what their work's sake and to be at peace amongst yourselves. Now, we, verse 14, let's read it. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, Comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. And that's talking about the Israelites, man. Screw the rest of these nations straight up. Uh, verse 15, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, all right? But ever follow that which is good, both amongst yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore and pray without ceasing. We got to pray, man, and never forget all these orders. Each and every one of these orders, these laws, statutes, and commandments come directly down from Yahweh by way of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, our mediator. See? All right? You know, we're going we're gonna to get a little bit, a couple more scriptures in the, how Esau, Edom, is through, and the whole, he judges the whole nations, and uh, the whole nation and all that. Even to his, what, 10th generation, as the scripture said, right? The remnant, the nephew, the, the mother, the, all of them. They all through. All right. And again, that's what a lot of people don't mention. They say, well, uh, uh, you know, they'll they'll, you know, uh, get on a video or say this and say that, but not really fully grasping the whole truth. And the whole truth is the rest of these nations, if you're not an Israelite, you finish, man. And that's what's up. That's the truth. All right. You're not going to have a spot on that fathership. Matter of fact, two thirds of our own people have to be put away on this side. See? Uh huh. 
Philippians 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Okay? Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in law, but in lowly, Salakia, Salakia, lowliness of mind, let each esteem one better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let the mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh by way of Yahweh, who being in the form of power, see, all right, though it not be, though it not be robbery to be equal with the most high power, you know, let's continue on, it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing, John 6 and verse 63, this is red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking right here, right, hmm, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right. So when you understand, when you have the eye self, when you have that gift of faith, which comes with works. All right. You have what? Life. That breath of life that he breathed into the dry bones. And now we can see and breathe, man, and understand these things. All right. Uh, speaking to the brother, you know, and he, you know, he said it, he said it, uh, said it again. He said, stay foundational. And who's the who's the rock of our salvation through the spirit and power of Yahweh? It is Yahweh Shai. That's the rock of our salvation. Psalm 62, verse six. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. A defense against what? These other nations. You see? Not just a certain amount. That's why I'm going back to that video. Okay. Not just a certain amount of wicked people that control this, control that. This, what do you, you know, whether it be the central banks and, you know, uh, all the, the, uh, the uh, television. No, it's each and every one of these damn devils. All of them. You benefited off of it. You the same family. All right. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these people will say, well, you know, uh, uh, the Lord said he did away with Esau, just Esau, that one. No, no, the whole family. And they live yet to this day. The scripture goes into it and tell you that Jacob is the beginning of it that follow us. That's the, uh, the uh, passing of, of this of this world, the fashion of this world. The end of this age. It's going to come with a boom, baby. Boom. See. All right. In the most high, Yahweh power is my salvation. You see that? He, Yahweh, is the salvation. But by way of what? His only begotten son. And my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is the most high power. Trust in him at all times. See, at all times. I, man, I got a quick, I got a quick story for you. You know, and this happened yesterday. Okay. I'm out mowing grass and a damn big ass 70 foot tall tree uh, lands uh, eight foot in front of me. Just out of the blue, bow. See, you think you know how about Shimmy Yahusha said he kills and he makes alive. He makes all these things happen. Can a sparrow fall to the ground without him doing it? Since before the foundations of the earth, he already knew and had all of it written. Okay, that's just a quick testimony. He could have easily just said wind, whoo, just a little bit further that way, and that would have been my ass. You see. That's the rock of our salvation right there. Trust in him in all times. Ye people, pour out your hearts, which is your mind, before him. All right? Power is a refuge for us. Salah, who? That's the Israelites, not everyone. Huh? Not even the ones that profess that the revelations is right and, and, and this. No, no, you got to eat the whole road. You got to understand the destruction is going to come upon every nation, even two thirds of our own people. Like I just said, you got to get it. You got to understand this. Matthew 24, verse 36. This is red letters. But of the day and of the hour, no, of no man, not, no, not the angels of heaven, but the what? The father only. See, that's why it's, it's always been. It's been time to be about my father's 
business, man. And his business is preaching and teaching the word. Let's go. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. What are people doing right now? A hot girl summer, having a good time, getting ready to get hitched. Huh? Making plans, doing this, doing that, eating and drinking and being merry. All right. But we don't know what our the scripture just said, the father only. That's why you got to stay ready. OK. <laughs> Seek ye out your own salvation with what fear and trembling. And the beginning of wisdom is to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. See, verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. You see, and knew not until the flood came and took them away all, took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. And that's in red letters right there. You see that? Huh? Let's see. Um, yep. Let's go to the mediator, right? The mediator. First Timothy two, verse five. For there is one power and one mediator between power and men. That man, that what? That man is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. Luke two and verse forty nine. And he said unto them, how is red letters right here, too? How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be alone about my father's business. So all the ordinances and everything ultimately always came down from Yahweh. Always. All right. But we are to play out our lot in this wicked ass flesh, weak ass flesh, man. See, that's why it's always good to have a healthy fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai daily. Pray without ceasing and understand he's in control of everything. You see? Everything. Second Ezra, 6 and verse 9. Let's go to back to 6 and verse 8. Yes, sir. That's that's right. This is also written in Genesis 25th chapter, right? Verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. He said, where are you going? See? Where are you going, you damn devil? They were struggling then. We're struggling now. It's a spiritual battle. Each and every one of them are going into captivity. All thy adversaries. My, one of my favorite scriptures in Jeremiah 30. Verse 10, the hand, uh-uh-uh-uh. Verse 9, Selachia, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, was that talking about just one person? Or was it just talking about just the wicked people that run the banks and the damn uh, uh, the industrial co uh, military complex? No, all of them. Even the ones that are two-time losers that are uh, opioid addicted. They, their asses is going into slavery too. See that? Verse 10. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand of, and the, and the hand, Salakia. So and other questions, uh, Ezra, ask thou not. See that? It's the most high you how about shim you shot up bear through. Let's read it. Let's read it about this right here. About this slavery that's getting ready to happen. Hardcore. Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Hmm. He that leadeth into cap captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So again, let's go, let's go back to it. It's not just, you know, the, uh, the, the higher ups. No, it's all of them. You remember picnics, bonfires, soccer, African Dodger. They all got together. They made uh, 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 damn uh, shoes and uh, uh, apparel, clothing out of Jake's skin. And you act like that. Was, you act like that was a damn uh, hundred. Uh, that was well, that was so long ago. No, it wasn't. Jake still uh, getting hung, maimed. Now look at what just happened to Sonya. Sonya Massey, right? That was a murder. Okay. Whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And that, again, that's all of them. That's all these damn Edomites. Really, they say, it, you know, if you have anybody say, I was reading an article one time, going into a lesson. It was it was some months back, right? And I was reading the article and everything was on point. 
But then it, it, out of the blue, it said, well, some of them are good. Some of them are good Edomites. Yeah, it ain't no damn good Edomite. Ain't no such damn thing as a good Edomite. They are vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and pursuant to the uh, book of Romans. Ain't no such damn thing as that. See that? To lock you. Yep. Let's go here. I got a couple more and I'll close out. And that's that. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. All right. Because, you know, I mean, look, because, you know, it's sort of, you know, in a way, it sort of rubs me the wrong way. You know, because you hear a lot of people say yeah, it's the, the wicked people who runs this are wicked people. God damn it. No, Edomites do. Tell the truth. Come on, man. They trying to wiggle out like you. How Don't see what the hell they doing. And the scripture go with to it tells you that their house, they think their house itself continue forever. Who can see us? What he don't know what we're doing. They are the accuser of the brethren. First they give us the work, then they throw us in jail. See? You understand? You ain't getting away with it. It's a recompense, baby. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. Call her lawyer. How about Shim Yahweh Shai? Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. What does that say? You can uh, we'll go back and read uh, uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. See, and they shall be our slaves. You know, Joel three. OK, many, many different scriptures. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter five. In verse one, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such has afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. You know, and again, these, these wacky tacky Christians, even when they say in something that's halfway right, which, you know, if it's halfway right, it's a damn lie in the first place. Right. But when they say in something that's halfway right, they, they don't want to tell you who this was done upon and who's doing the damn deed. They don't they don't never say that. They don't want to go into who, uh, who the Gentiles, and they don't want to go into none of that. Uh-huh. You already know what it is, man. They ain't made no accounts of our labors. Verse 2, uh, uh, Kamala Harris and all these damn wicked-ass demons, man. Shit. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of, of, of what? Amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Why? Because they pride, they're proud as hell. You know? And, uh, and, and again, I say it like this. The higher ups have uh, uh, basically deceived, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, about Shimmy Yahweh on the left hand side, deceived their own damn people into thinking they're really somebody. When they ain't shit. The scripture said, our righteousness is a filthy rags. So much more to heathen? Shh, give me a break. Come on now. Verse three. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This is he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. These man, these, these wicked ass demons, devils used to eat us. Hell, Jeffrey Dahmer showed you that he, he was still doing it. It puts the lotion on the skin. Fuck Salakia. Salakia. Get a little upset from time to time. Please excuse that. A little spiritual rant. All right. Showed you that just a, a, a couple months ago when these two uh, 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 Eves, you know, getting down with Esau, Edom, and they found them in uh, uh, four corners of a, of a state, two different states, two different uh, 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 instances of this, man. Fucking devils, man. Straight up. Verse four. A proverb of reproach, right? Verse four, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. And that's what's up, all right? And hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rekaha, Kwadash. Double honors to those that rule well. Healthy Shalom, you know, that I learned from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, all right? In truth and sincerity, with no guile found in your mouth. And that's what's up. And every chance you get, check this place down. Kwame Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom! Shalom.